Hello friends, this is Betty and uh, I am with Bodacious Betty's Diamonds or that may not be the name I actually go with, I'm not certain but as you can see what we got here is a couple of boxes so that should tell you that we're doing an unboxing. I'm going to put these to the side now. Um, this is my first unboxing video so I'm still learning a little bit and if it's awkward, I am so sorry. This one is from Crystal Arts Diamond Painting. Uh, Amy Reed does these, and she only does uh, diamond paintings that are full rhinestone. They um, do not come with any solid color drills at all. They are all special rhinestones. And I've already opened the box, so let me try and get things out. I am having to do this with my phone. So, and having to do this with one hand. So I apologize. Got this here. Now, unroll this. Got standard toolkit, an inventory sheet got 26 colors. There's all those beautiful drills. And then this is the canvas. I'll roll it backwards, see if I can get it to lay flat. Isn't she beautiful? It's a squared mandala, and it looks like poured glue, but when you pull this back, I'm not so sure. Very sticky, very sticky. And the drill seal looks, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit, wait for it to focus. The drill field looks very clear. I don't think I will necessarily need a light pad or anything to do this. There's not a lot of black on it. It's just right here, very in the ba in the background. Um, I love the interplay of the turquoise and the pink and all of that. So turn this over and let's look at these drills. I do have a tripod somewhere, but I cannot find it, so I thought I would wing it like this, and we'll see how things go. And here are our drills. Turn that on. Look at that. Look at the pale blues. These are gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful stones. And this is going to be your clear white. Look at the flash on that. We've got a nice light champagne, a little yellow. Lots of blues and pinks and oranges. The poppy red, the pink here. Everything looks really good. All the drills look nice going to be really, really pretty when it's all done. That deep blue, almost a purple. Really pretty. The turquoise. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the plum. That plum is gorgeous. That's a gorgeous color. It does seem to be a lot of the turquoise. Some more green, some more blue, different sizes. Um, here's some more of, the, of a plum type color. How pretty is that? Look at that. Amy, you do a good job of getting these together. This is amazing. Love that fuchsia. This baby pink. 
And of course the black is still sparkly, but it's not silver backed, so it's going to have a little bit more depth of color. Look at these. Oh, I'm just in love. If I could do every diamond painting in, in crystal rhinestones like this, I think I probably would. But that is all that Amy Reed carries. And her website is... Am I losing stones from somewhere? I just lost... Had that one pop out. Um, Amy Reed's website is uh, www.crystalcanvasarts.com or is it .co? I'm not sure, but I'll have it linked in the description box down below. Um, and she's just amazing. She's very sweet, very, very helpful. Um, and just... Just a, a great, great person. Um, love her to death. I'm going to pause a minute while I put all this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, now the next one is from Diamond Express, as you can see. Um, they have a monthly subscription box that they do, and I thought I would give that a try. It's about $32 a month. Oh, excuse me. Don't look at my dirty floor or my stash. Um, but it's about $32 a month, and um, what you get, well, for what I get, that's a 50 by 50 or a 60 by 60 piece. So I like the, the big pieces, and I prefer to do those. Now, with this, the first month, they pick a painting for you. Oh, Y'all getting to see my chinchilla over there. Um, she's up there asleep. But the first picture, they pick the painting for you. And then after that, you are emailed a link to choose your painting. Again, standard toolkit. This one comes with an inventory sheet and a ton of drills. Um, now this one appears to be, oops, let me get it, I think I have it sideways. Oh, I like that it has a legend on both sides of the top. See that on both sides up there? Um, this one appears to be a double-sided tape, not a poured glue. So, yep, that's exactly what it is, as you can see, but it's still very sticky. Um, I don't see anything that would indicate any problems with the adhesive. Uh, I, I really don't. That looks like it might be a bubble, but it's not. That's just a bubble in the packaging, in the paper. Okay, so I'm going to set the canvas aside, and let's look at these drills. Seem to be good quality bags, much better See? Hair. Hair everywhere. That's for my Huskies. Thank you, Huskies. Um, they're better quality bags than some of the others that I've seen. Um, I have seen some that were just very, very crinkly and not worth much of anything at all. And holy cannoli, look at the, look at the three tens. Look at all those three tens. That's all 310 right there. There is a lot, a lot of black in this picture, apparently. This is 161. That's a pretty blue. Nice, pretty blue. No special drills in this one, but seems to have a lot of good color on it. Now, the picture that they sent me, because this is my first time with them. Ooh, look at this teal. Look at that. How pretty is that color? That's gorgeous. I get distracted by shiny things. You'll have to forgive me. Um, a lot of green in here. The pictures that they sent me, they could not have picked a better one. I love flowers, and I absolutely love stargazer lilies. And that's what this one is is the stargazer lilies. It's two of them. They could not have picked 
a better picture to send me. This is right up my alley. Right up my alley. These drills look pretty good. I don't see a lot of waste. I don't see a lot of crappy drills in there. That's a pretty, like a Wedgwood blue almost. Um, I have ordered a replacement tripod. And this is your inventory sheet. It's got, uh, oh gosh, how many? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Thirty-five colors. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, now what I'll do with this inventory sheet is I will make a copy of this and I will print it on sticker paper and I will cut the symbol and the ID number out and that's how I will label my containers and I will put the picture on top of my container Like yeah, my 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 drill container, thirty eight forty one. That's a kind of a moss or a stone blue. A lot of greens in here, which I expect with a plant. Some purple, not as much pink as I would have expected for a stargazer. Um, to me, stargazer lilies are are they're, they're pink and they have that white outline. So there's not as much pink as I would have expected. It's 3328, 3810. A lot of 823s in here. A lot of 823, that dark blue. It's more purple than anything else. 644. Oh, this is one of my favorite colors. It's the 159, kind of purpley gray blue. And then green and green. And this burgundy. Like I said, there's not as much pink as I would have thought. Lots of different shades of green. There's going to be a lot of depth to this picture, I think. It's a 50 by 50. Um, I've, I haven't seen that one before, 703, that's a really pretty bright green. Um, and this one is, which one is this? This is 3346, and then two little individual packets of 347 and 349. I'll leave that there. I'm going to pull this canvas back over so we can take a peek at the drill field. Pull that up. I can see some symbols. The drill field looks really nice and clear. Come on, focus. There you go. I don't know that I'm going to need too much of a light pad or a lot of light for it. So you can see all the white here. And then I'm assuming this is all black. Or that dark, dark, dark blue. No, it's 310. That's all black down here. So I can see where a lot of the black is going to be. And then it's got the teals over this way. All these teals over here. But this is, it's the drill field is really, really clear. Nice, clear symbols, nice, good color. Sorry, I'm moving around so much. I don't mean to make anybody sick or give you motion sickness. But I think this one's going to be really, really fun to do. And I know exactly where I want to hang it when I get it done. Exactly where I want to hang it when I get it done. So, but that's, that's my two unboxings. Now, I've got a couple more ordered that um, I am really looking forward to. And um, I just ordered the Enchanted Forest today. I, I do not, don't know when that's going to come in. Um, but... I just ordered the Enchanted Forest. I am currently working on, um, I forget what they call him, but this is my whip that I've got right now. Uh, and this is, the, this is how I do my, 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 my drills. 
This is a bead container that I get at, at Hobby Lobby. And this little thing will hold seven of these packets of beads, or drills. And I forget what they call him, but this is what I'm working on right now. And I cannot wait until he gets done. He is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But um, there were 43 colors in this one. So I've got two of these plus something else. I just finished uh, the Pink Forest. I'm going to give that to my best friend for her birthday. Um, but I'm going to start doing some whipping chats and, and unboxings and maybe do some other stuff. So... I'm going to put all this away, and um, that way I can get back to working on my whip. And um, one day I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through my stash and my setup, because I just sit here in my living room and do this, as you can see. And I usually have animals walking by, and sometimes kids and grandkids, and heaven knows whoever else. <laughs> but uh, I, I found diamond painting, and I love it. I am disabled. I am an empty nester with boomerang kids that have come home to, you know, to live. Um, a lot of different things have happened with that, but um, that's a story for another time. So um, we will address that later. But for now, I have really and truly enjoyed the community that I have become a part of and love this craft that I did not know existed until just a little while ago. Um, I used to love cross-stitching, and this is kind of like cross-stitching, but it's so much easier. So um, I guess that's all for now. I'm going to quit bending your ear, and um, I will talk to you later. All my social media and how you can contact me is down below in the description box, as well as links to everything that um, I have here. And um, so if you have any questions, don't, ha don't hesitate to, to contact me. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Have a good night.